Good morning, plumbers. If you don't know, we do everyday plumbing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. All while teaching my two sons, the plumbing apprentices, the trade. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We truly appreciate it. As you know, it's going to be a long journey training these two. Well worth it, though. Because we all know plumbing ain't going nowhere. And for today's adventure, this special shout out goes to Josh from Florida. Former Brigantine Jetty Shredder. We're heading to the shop. Today is CB2's first journey at soldering. Way too late, but never too late. Stay tuned and we'll see you inside the shop. Today is a monumental day. Today, CB2 is going to solder. Today we have soldering class. And right now he's prepping some pipes. All you gotta do is this. Let me show you something. When you clean this pipe, a three-quarter copper thing is nothing but three quarters of an inch. You know what I mean? Boom. You ain't gotta clean. Just put the sandpaper is that wide. You know what I'm saying? Save yourself some time. Half an inch is even smaller, okay? And I want to give you a quick lesson. Everybody out there, let me get my gloves on. I don't want to get dirty. Now, I rarely solder anymore, but in the real world of plumbing, you get a fitting. You got a fitting brush? It's right here. Half and three quarter. What I do a lot when you solder, Example, if we're going to do a prefab for some faucets or some hot water heater drops. So I'm going to teach Chuck how to solder. Never, he's never done it before. So bear with him, bear with me. Chuck, don't worry about no mistakes. We all make mistakes. It don't even matter. Okay? So, example. We need a, we're going to make a prefab some elbows for a drop or whatever. A lot of times we'll prefab a, a piece like so. So we need, uh, give me four or three, four elbows cleaned up. Come on, over here, son. You're the star. Quick lesson on these, on these fitting brushes. I know you never did it. Always go the same direction. Okay. They're designed that way. Uh, Milrose fitting brushes, I used to love them. Never use them no more, but they're the best. Boom, okay, just like so. I need four more, not six more 90s. Clean them all up. And then we'll prefab some copper fittings. And I'll just do one for you, then you're just going to take off with it, okay? Again, we rarely solder. A couple times I wanted Chuck to do it, and we just never even got to it. So we're going to slow down today. We're working in the shop, and we're going to get some side. Just do all you got to do is like three or four strokes. You know what I mean, Chuck? Yeah. Okay. It's a service thing. Yeah. It wouldn't fit in there if it was. Can you imagine doing this all the time instead of pro press? Sounds fun. I use utility flux. It's a very old, which you can see. It doesn't go bad. So we're going to prefab an elbow and a piece. So we flux a little bit. Oh my god, I don't miss this. I can tell you that right now. Flux on each. Now what happens is sandpaper cleans the copper off. No. You're gonna be working by yourself, see? So just watch what I do. We're just making things happen out here in the world in the real world. We need a quick 90 soldered on. So there it is, it's prefab. We're gonna light the torch. I'm about to use it up. 
My flux brush is right here. I have a rag. So what we're gonna do, Chuck, we're gonna put the heat on the back of the fitting. Okay? What's gonna happen is the heat's gonna draw the solder in. The flux allows the solder to run smoothly back into the fitting and cool off. So we heat it up. I always, always go on top so it draws around. I test it, oh, it's ready to go. Boom. One inch of solder. I always do this. Some guys might not like it. Make it look nice. And again, I haven't soldered in a long time, but then you gotta go to the other side, the other fitting, which won't take as long to heat, and you just, one inch of solder. You should draw right around. But always draw. Oops. <laughs> always draw the flux, I mean, the solder to the flame. It'll suck it right in. All right? So now we pre-found that we should have a wet rag, which will expedite the situation. And you can get it right. Now we just dry one. And when, right now it's a mess. So if you don't wipe this down after it cools, it will turn green. And even if you really wipe it down good, it still turns green. Yeah, go wet a rag. It's really good area. So what I'm going to do is let CB2 just solder away. CB2 is going to get it done today. I'm so, I'm mad Angela's not here today. So look, you just wipe it down, Chuck. You can wipe it down with a, with a wet rag because it'll be cold. It'll be faster. But look, you just wipe everything down. See how it looks? Nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Solder 101 right there. Uh, prefab like so do two 90s at once okay okay set yourself up over here or right here wherever you want to be doesn't matter you can actually work off of this if you want alright nice and hot whatever you want solder it up Get used to doing it. You want to move. If you don't like bending down, there you go. Side our way. All right. I want you to have fun with it. You know what I mean? Get used to soldering these six, seven fittings, and then we're going to put you on the hot water heater, and we're going to charge it up and see how many leaks you got. All right. But look. Just get comfortable. Is that enough? All you gotta do is give it a nice little wipe. That's plenty. Nice little wipe. Put the fitting right on the on the uh, pipe. Do the next pipe. You just gotta get comfortable with a little little routine. That's all. And like, say we're doing this to prefab, like I don't know, a diverter. You can't. You can't solder a diverter if we're doing body sprays or something you can't solder it on the on the valve body so a lot of times you got to prefab a lug L with a nipple just like this so, these solder lessons there you go there it is I'll, I'll sit here with you just for this first one this is the actual first time CB2 is soldering this is embarrassing on my part which you know, a little higher because this is map gas, this burns really hot. And once you get on there, good. You watched what I did, right? Yeah. Feel free, and you, you'll learn from your mistakes. That's all you're going to do. All right, always test it. Just do a little tap on top. Because you don't want to burn it where you burn the flux out, because you can actually do that. See how that turned blue all, all of a sudden? That's good. 
Now you should wipe it down with your flux brush. Wipe down every joint while it's hot to make it look pretty. You ain't gonna hurt it. Wipe that. You gotta get, make it, you want it to look nice. Right. right. Okay. And again, the more you do this, the more comfortable you'll be. You're gonna have to learn how to solder somewhere. Draw the, you want to draw the flame back. Stay back here. Okay. Starting to burn the fitting. There you go. Now, hold on. When, you, when you're soldering, put the flame back on it. You want to draw, put the flame back on it. You want to draw and let it go in. You can't just put it on top. You want to go around and make sure. Now wipe it down. See how you're burning it? Yeah. But you can't just touch it and walk away. When you look back and you see your solder job, you're going to be like, wow, I was really green. Again, we're, we're, we're drawing the solder in. Okay? Give yourself some room here. Draw it in, each side. It only takes about 30 seconds. You're good now. When that starts to turn green, you're good. Alright, plenty of solder. Plenty of solder already. Right? No quicker than you think. You're okay. Raise it down. Alright, let me draw some more by doing that. Keep your flame on it. The flame actually draws the solder in. That's what draws the solder to the fitting. Here's what you do, solder. When you get the flux, just get the flux. Put some flux on it and just wipe it. See how I'm wiping it? It's so hot you can still do it. Okay? Just make it look nice. It's a little messy, but you know. When you get good at soldering, you're going to be able to heat the fitting. You're going to draw the solder in real clean. You won't even see the solder joint barely. It'll be nice and clean. Okay? All right. So let that cool off. Wipe it with your rag. And we'll do it again. That was your first two fittings. You think they're going to leak? <laughs> Probably not. It's all about cleaning it and fluxing it. I'm telling you right now. It's the most important part. Did you get burned? No, I'm seeing if this is the way right. Oh, I got to show you a little plumber's trick. I know a lot of plumbers out there know it. It's coming. Go ahead, wipe it down. We ain't got all day. You're not going to get burned. Where's your pliers? You should have them. Right. So you don't... Wipe with pliers? No, it's like this. Time out. Come on. Burn no. You got gloves on the wet rag. I know. two fittings. Alright, do it again. Make me a box with that 90. These three 90s, a T, and we're going to put a female adapter in it, like so, and we're going to test it with a boiler drain. He loves plumbing, so he said. But how about the comparison between this and Pax? Doesn't it smell? You can burn a house down. I'm sorry, not this in PEX. This in ProPress. Set the smoke alarms off, which we might do here. Burn down the house. All the flux. It stinks. Hello. See, if you don't heat it as much, it won't be as black. You just got to heat it, touch it. And just draw it in about one inch of solder. It'll suck around one inch is plenty of solder. Alright. Just about hitting the lip with a piece of copper. 
it out. It doesn't cut copper clean, really. You gotta cut it slow. If it has a burr, you gotta sand it. Oh, you have a burr on your pipe? Look what's in the back of the number 19 cutter. Boom. Oh, I've done that before. Okay. There's your burr, your deburr tool if you need it. Now, when you're ready to saw on I got to give you a little special lesson because you're going to deal with some female adapter right there. Okay. What's wrong? I don't know. You're being soft, is what's wrong. Say it. I'm soft, Dad. Well, he's over here doing this, folks. I'm doing a little project myself. Secret stuff. Secret stuff over here. See me, I'm just micromanaging over here. You do you micromanaging? Never. <laughs> hey, funny, CB. Wow, well, I should have probably. So what? I should have still left. Let me say. Ah, a mistake. You kind of just recovered. So what do you gotta do? I mean, it's not that hard. I know. Take a little off. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. You know, I'm all about helping you. Is this one, which one's, which one's long? That one? Yeah. So measure this piece. Huh? I'm measuring from here to here right now. I need another piece anyway. Okay. <laughs> That's like a good temperature right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this way you can actually take your time and just feel it, you know what I mean? If you turn it up like, like this, you really gotta work fast. Like I would pick that temperature 
Flame draws the solder in. to get that plug brush in the flux instead of burning the hair off the brush. You know what I mean? Okay. If, you, if you put some flux on it, you know what I'm saying? You can turn your flame off too. Not a little far, Baron. until it's actually cooled off. You're, you're actually burning them a little bit too much. Try a little less heat and it'll come up a little bit more clean. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that wipes off. That's why we wipe them off. Time out. I can see a mistake you made. The reason we're doing we're prefabbing this is why. We want everything to be square, right? But look, you left this up. If we were doing a job, that'd be crooked. See how it's off the table? Yeah. That was the purpose of the table, square everything up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just saying. If you're prefabbing something, you want it square. Something stupid like that, it will fight you all the way to the end. On the three quarter, uh, like a diverter or something crazy. If you just wrap that rag around and, and wipe it, there you go. That's how you should do it. Yeah, you'll be there all day the other way. Okay. You can let go. Of it. I just say, like, you, you're you're holding a plier. I just say that when it's super hot. You know what I mean? You can let go of the pliers. You, you know what I mean? You don't have to grab. I say pliers because of when you first get done. If you're like me, I don't have no patience. I just jump right in there and get burned. You want to get done the job. You know what I mean? And 
that's why we're here today. Yeah, three years of the pro press, we're just signing because all, all I want to do is get the jobs done. And in the on long run, you have to learn how to do this. So what I would do is, look at me here. When you solder this, when you solder a female thread, you don't want no solder going into threads. You understand? Yeah. So you heat this, you draw the solder in, you make sure. I'm listening. Did you just yawn? No. Yes, you did. Nope. I heard it. I didn't yawn. I coughed. I don't know if that camera angle would have got it. I don't but think it did. That's why I'm saying I didn't cough. No one said you coughed. I said you yawned. I yawned. No solder in the thread. I got it. Okay. You got it? Alright. And when you're done soldering it, put a board right there and test it up with the hose. Okay? And we're going to get the shot. Like the lower flame better? Yeah. Let me show you a little trick. Alright. There you go. Keep testing. Look how to keep going, man. Just get the feel. better man I'm telling you to bend it on per for a reason there you go
looking? Soldered. I'm as funny as you are today. Pardon me? I'm as funny as you today. Pardon me? I'm as funny as you today. Funny? Now we funny too now, right? Who's funny today? You're always funny. I know I'm funny. Not gonna hurt nothing. Alright? This is already cool, right? So you just pick it up. Okay? Think about what we're doing. Now I'm funny. Okay? Still hot, but I'm not getting burned, but this side's already cool, right? You know what the funny part is? You did a good job here. Could you see the solder? See the solder running around the fitting on the inside? You can barely see it. Isn't that good? You see it? No. The, right there? Kinda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, we did it. <coughs> but you see how the wet rag gets all the... You just have to here too much up here. Right here? Yeah. What happens is the flux actually cleans the copper. But, you know, you should really wipe it down. But you're, you're actually your joints got a little better. A clean joint looks like the inside of that. We barely even see it on the outside. And again, it comes with time. Now this is a little burnt right here. See how that, but they'll come off much. Just gotta wipe it hard. And when you're in someone's house running copper, you want it to look nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's test her out, get a bullet drain. Grab by the fitting. Grab by the hub of the fitting that you're supposed to hold when you tighten the fittings. Hmm? All right. All right. Yeah. Right here. Making the leather the letter P. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright. Now turn your boiler drain off on your on your letter P. Turn that one on, charge it up. That's nice. Just another leak. Oh, that's not a good start. <laughs> I think I should have put down some. Uh, I don't know. Something on this plywood here. Oh, you ain't got to kill it, man. They all want to see this. I think you're going to be good. CB, guess what you are now? You're a plumber. Now you gotta. Now here's a question for your apprentices out there: If you had a leak on that, how would you fix it? I have no idea. You, you would dry. You no. Know, you would disconnect the hose. You got it. This is the greatness of Pro Press. You'd have to. Let's say this T was leaking. Oh my God! I got a leak. So we shut down. The bib, we disconnect the hose, of course, and we gotta let everything drain out, and then we resolder it. Hopefully, no one upstairs dumps water on you that it interferes with that solder joint. But CB, good job. Thank you, CB. There it is, CB2 finally got his lesson. How many years in now? Three, two, three, Man. four. You gotta keep doing it. The problem is this. 
let's say we're someplace and the battery goes down in the progress and we're out in the middle of nowhere. Got my house hotter. Even though I ain't got the copper fingers on my truck. <laughs> I took them all off. Clean it up. And good job. You guys any you got anything you wanna say? Uh, it was a life changing experience. I don't think I can sleep now finally after many years. Hold on. Give it to us. <laughs> Give it to us. Are you a satisfied customer right now? Are you? No, are you? I didn't have a solder. I'm pretty satisfied. Alright. <laughs> well, there you have it. A little raw generic solder station at the shop and it was it was accomplishment you know first time ever I really been waiting to get him on a job and I was hoping to do some work in my shop I was hoping to do some work in my shop and have him solder but when I tell you I don't even solder no more and again a little late but never too late and again, you know, who can get confidence with it? Now it's just going to be, if I have an opportunity to solder, we're going to have CB2 do it. But, you know, it's just a scratch of the surface of soldering all you apprentices out there. So many different situations. <laughs> anyway, that was for Josh. He's always asking what I'm going to teach CB2 how to solder. We finally got it done. And Josh, guess what? <coughs> I did surf today at the jetty and it was killer. So I appreciate everybody watching and uh, joining this journey. We'll see you at the next one. To be continued as always. Thank you. Have a great night.